So again, we'll start with a PSA and definitely it turned out to be a good one. We were doing some fireworks with people down the street and I decided to mention, hey, don't throw those fireworks in the trash can or if you do, make sure you leave the trash can away from the house. I was glad to mention that because after an hour of us leaving and doing fireworks and stuff, well, the neighbor's trash can turned into this massive freaking fireball. So if you're doing anything, whether it be like barbecuing, charcoal, or smoking, or whatever it may be, don't throw anything in the trash can unless you're absolutely sure that it is extinguished and it can't light back up because luckily his house didn't catch on fire because I mentioned don't put it by the house. And yeah, he would have had his house catch on fire if that wouldn't have been the case. Oh, and before the unboxing, definitely I do appreciate all the subscribers and the people smashing those like buttons and comments. It definitely keeps the train going. And yeah, check out the outros starring that one right there. We got some cool stuff coming up. So Third Reality, they're known for doing their motion sensor I've covered. They have some door contacts, I believe. And it looks like they're branching into various other Zigbee sensors and whatnot. And so this is that smart button. They did say, hey, you want to check this one out? Sure enough. So it, on the back, it already says, it says a click to control, connected devices, three ways, presses, double presses, and held. So interesting to see, and probably not that hard. I'll see if I can add it to Zigbee to MQTT if it's not already there. So yeah, it is a rather large button. I mean, compared to some, but I think their thing, which I do prefer is they use the AAA batteries. And I could already see, and it looks very freaking familiar. It really looks like they've taken the same exact case, which really you gotta think from a business standpoint is pretty damn sweet. They took the same case that they use for the motion sensor and downright might even be the same exact board and just throw a different binary sensor on it, right? Well, that's what it is here. So maybe we can even use some of the same stuff in Zigbee to MQTT. And they do have some sticky magnets. I'm assuming that's just to, you can stick this probably to the wall. Yeah, look, they've made it the same exact size as the little thing on the back. So yeah, stick it to the wall and that way you could stick it somewhere and then pull the button when you needed to. I really don't need to look at the manual on this thing. So we'll see if we can get this thing paired up and get it into Zigbee 2 MQTT. They supposedly are going to come out with a temperature and humidity sensor as well, which wait for it. I can't wait to see that because really, quite frankly, the temperature and humidity sensors in the Zigbee world kind of suck right now. So you might be asking, well, did I see this video before? Well, I just brought these for reference because there's a new game in town and I definitely like to see what this brings because the big thing is this is Zigbee. It has a cool little display and it's definitely by third reality. And the cool thing I do like that they went with regular triple a batteries and we can do temperature and humidity on Zigbee and you can put it places. Now, if you don't pop off the, bracket on the back like I just did and there we go cool little display definitely shows the battery I get a little closer to look here and not have glare on it so you've got their little thing cloud icon then the battery and then you've got humidity and then temperature now I have found that this is kind of sensitive so with really any temperature sensor when you start handling them and whatnot so I want to let this equalize between these and see what's what. Oh, and there's looks like a little smiley face. I guess that's more one of those takeaways from the Jami stuff. So let me pair this with Zigbee to MQTT. And yeah, there is a converter out there and hopefully that would be put into the main branch of Zigbee to MQTT soon. 
So they're pretty close to each other. I mean, none of these are, you know, thousand dollar, you know, instruments for doing calibrated temperature. But for the most part, you can see 735, 737, 739, 734, and they're all relatively within that couple percentage. So pretty cool to see a new little Zigbee temperature and humidity sensor that just works because I know my Xiaomi outdoor little one I have sitting in my back patio doesn't get rained on. It loves to fall off the network all the damn time. Probably if you've seen their Facebook or whatnot, they did a live stream on these and I haven't even looked at it yet. So let's jump into it. Let's move these out the way. There's their Facebook, uh, the, the guide, the instruction guide. I'm not sure I really need that, but we'll ref refer to that if we need to. It's got a decent size to it. And just for curiosity's sake, a little USB flash drive. Everybody knows what the size of those are because these little Xiaomi things are way small. So I guess that's like an e-ink display. It's very light. That's interesting. What else is in the box? Uh, just a bracket. Bring your own batteries. Open here. Okay, don't need the instructions. So double A, and is that another power source? That's, that's USB-C and a button. Hmm, that got me curious what the USB-C is. It says that you can power either using USB-C or the double A batteries. I wanna see if we can use some rechargeables because some devices don't like rechargeables because of the lower voltage. Let's give it a shot. This is why I've always had good luck with these energizers. 1.4. Did not know that. Learned something new. Okay. So it starts to boot up. Set AP. So this is a Wi-Fi one. And I'm curious to see if the we don't have to use the Shelly app because I've never been too much of a fan of the Shelly app myself or the requirement of having to use said app. It looks like adding to the Wi-Fi, once you do that, it goes into regular mode. Kind of a neat little display for low on power. I guess there's probably not full battery. I'll zoom in here a little more. Due to I'm using those rechargeable batteries, but hey, pretty cool to see that that does work. Now to change it to, do we need to use the web interface to change it to Fahrenheit? So pretty cool, we'll have to dive more into this. I really wanna change it to freaking thing first. You can see, uh, it looks like it's a little running a little hotter. I did see it does support different web hooks and MQTT, it has an ESP32 inside and I would give this time to equalize, I know, because I have been messing with it and whatnot, but it looks like you can see we're a good bit ways off. So I'm not going to say just yet that this is running a little too high, but hey, we'll let it equalize and report back later. Well, if you know what this is, and you watch some of my other videos, kudos to you. This didn't do too well. Yeah, this was that Shelly motion sensor. I think that just pops off, doesn't it? Yep. And it's Wi-Fi based and it just didn't do too well in some of our previous testing. And I think Caleb for sending this to me to um, get a trial of. Luckily, maybe they can pull it out with the Second version. It really reminds me of those older Ubiquity, when Ubiquity was really awesome, the uh, Loco M2s. Set up a bunch of those for little Wi-Fi backhauls. But it's a little smaller. 
Let's see what else is in the box. Looks like some 3M stick tape, a bracket, and then the little reset pin tool. I would definitely have to say I like the look of this newer one, but size-wise, this is the all-time favorite, is the Hue Zigbee, little Zigbee motion sensor. It does lux and a bunch of other temperature sensor and stuff, and it just really works well. But you do have to pay a decent amount for these, but it was right in the range, if not even cheaper, to go with the Philips Hue one. So I'm curious to see how it stacks up to this one. We may have to ask for SpongeBob to come back by. And if you've watched that video, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I do like that they've done USB-C. I don't think the last one, no, the last one was not USB-C. I like to see that because, yeah, I just don't have any of these cables around anymore and everything's going USB-C finally. Um, so it's rechargeable. Got the, the same design by, is it Angel or Angel? I'm not sure. Probably screwing up his name. He's getting mad or she or whatever. Everybody's always mad at me. So we'll dive into this one. And this is a Wi-Fi based one. And I think it also has Bluetooth. Hmm. Okay, I don't think it had. I didn't say anything about Bluetooth. But we'll check this one out and see. I'd, We'll definitely be seeing more of the Shelly Motion 2. And well, 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 while we just let these equalize, you can definitely see something else has really changed. This one's come down kind of in line with some of the other guys. But the third reality has dropped significantly lower. And it's pretty damn sensitive so i don't know if it's just picking up more of the draft or what which one's right well you can average them out chapter i think i call it the best part because it is the best part that's even better what's up og I told you. Down low. Low. Oh, you got her still. Yeah, it's got steeper ledges. No. You can't hit the thing. Okay, right there. Owen, 